a little bit later on in the course, we're going to talk specifically about the various file system formats, and we'll mention REFS, no doubt. But in this video, I want to focus in on REFS and help you in understanding REFS, what it is, what it's not. There's a lot of hype out there about it. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of misinformation. So let's straighten it up. You will see this on the exam because it's new in Windows Server 2012, and it brings a lot of really great functionality. So what exactly is REFS? It is the Resilient File System. Now, believe it or not, we've been on NTFS as the upper echelon file system, you know, the utmost in security and efficiency now for almost two decades. Hard to believe. REFS is a new file system introduced in Windows Server 2012, but oddly enough, it's not being introduced with the expressed purpose of replacing NTFS. So that answers the question. Does it replace NTFS? Absolutely, positively not. It does not. REFS is a different file system with different uses in mind. Now, it's even possible that you could see some applications, especially things that run locally on the server, that may not run on REFS because they're relying on specific NTFS features that REFS just simply doesn't support. Now, I don't want to scare you there. Most applications, the vast majority, will work just fine. But we are talking about some fundamental architectural differences. Now, what does REFS offer that NTFS doesn't give us. The big word is resiliency. As a matter of fact, if you look at storage spaces, disk pools, all that functionality in Windows Server 2012, a lot of that's coming to us through uh, the power and the new uh, format and architecture of REFS. With resiliency, REFS is designed with disk repair functionality built into the file system. That means goodbye check disk. You don't have to run check disk. This is the one utility that we all hate. It takes so long. It's so irritating. But it's also the one we love when our disk starts acting goofy. Any repairs for data corruption happen on the fly, and it's very fast. And then capacity. Now, REFS can handle up to one yottabyte. You've probably never heard of a yottabyte. I hadn't either. That's about one quadrillion gigabytes. It's unbelievable amount of data. Another way to represent this, one gigabyte can be represented as 10 to the 9th power. One yottabyte is 10 to the 24th power. So you binary nerds got a picture there of exactly what's going on with the size. Now, give me an example, you might say, of when I would choose REFS instead of NTFS. Well, let's think about a general purpose file server. We can deploy a server that attaches to a JBOD. JBOD, just a bunch of disks type configuration. We could have a bunch of serial ATA or SATA or serial attached SCSI, SAS drives. Just get them, connect them up, get them connected to the server. And REFS can take care of them. They can, uh, using storage spaces, represent all the open space, available space on each one of those drives to us clump it all together as one volume, uh, give it a drive letter, and go. And it will absolutely take care of storing the data, keeping it from getting corrupt, protecting it, providing fault tolerance, on and on and on. Now, also, this is great when cost and data protection is an issue. Because since we can use just a bunch of disks, we can use some very inexpensive disks and still get some pretty high-end functionality out of it. Now, is NTFS ever the better choice when compared to REFS? Absolutely. REFS cannot be configured on boot drives. So that tells you something about the purpose of REFS right there. It's totally designed for storage, not for booting operating systems and all that sort of thing. It is really designed and focused at data storage and protection. REFS cannot be used on removable media. Now, a lot of people are kind of shocked by this one, and everybody's hoping this will change in the future. 
But the beating that your data takes on removable media with being knocked around and bumped around, it would really be cool if we had REFS. But for now, not on removable media. REFS does not support deduplication. Now, what is that? That is a specialized data compression technique for eliminating duplicate copies of repeating data. This is supported in the updated version of NTFS in Windows Server 2012. So it's kind of interesting that REFS focuses on resiliency and size, but doesn't support the data compression technique. So we've still got a little bit of um, uncharted water here. Watch for these situations on the exam. You might want to watch this movie a time or two. You might want to go out and look at some of the blogs out there about REFS and NTFS. Be careful. Make sure when you're reading this stuff, you're reading from a Microsoft MVP, someone who should be a little bit more knowledgeable about the ins and outs of this. But you don't want to uh, uh, learn bad data for the exam. But REFS shows a lot of promise. It's a pretty cool thing. It's not a total replacement for NTFS, except under certain conditions.